Turfentain on Saturday, three in the first. Marquez, who's a, a full brother to William Robertson. I thought it was a very good run at a big price last time out. Yeah, it was a good comeback run. Um, he showed he wanted a run. Before, you know, he had wind issues and he was a bit unsound, so uh, he, did, he didn't want to be there. Um, he's got a bit to do from the draw. 1,400 is more his game. It is a second run, so, you know, one can always be a little nervous of the bounce factor, especially horses that are coming off... Um, as long a layoff as he has. Yeah, the draw hasn't been kind to in this race because Dubai Hills is also drawn deep and then Monster, who's out of a mare that Mike Datum's raced, is also drawn deep. Yeah, Monster is not showing a lot. Hopefully the race will reveal a bit more. Uh, Dubai Hills, uh, I think, is going to need the experience more than anything. Um, I would expect him to be kicking on quite strongly. OK, then with uh, Little Mary Sunshine out, uh, Champagne Cocktail finds herself at the top of the boards at 4-10 to 10 after a sparkling debut, if you'll pardon the pun. Yeah, look, it was a good debut, obviously, but, um, you know, she honestly beat a really weak field. Um, you know, I believe she's, she's not a bad filly, she's a decent filly, uh, but she's got to do it on the racetrack, it doesn't matter what we think. Um, she's up against hard-knocking handicappers on Saturday. But, you know, I think she's a nice filly, so she must prove it. But she's in a good space, she's well. I always have healthy respect for the, for the opposition, uh, especially with it only being her second run. But, you know, as I said, I think she's quite a nice filly. OK, a filly that was very, very impressive earlier on in her career, then she stepped up to the Classics in the Guineas, the SA Classic. Burnett, I, I get the feeling that she would have done well, you know, with a, a bit of time to mature. Yeah, we sent her back to Maritzfontein to go and run around there in the paddocks for a while through winter. She was just very immature, light-framed filly, not much of a hind quarter on her. Um, she's done very well at, um, at Maritzfontein. Uh, she's been here for a while. Uh, we've just been waiting for a bit of rain with her. She's been ready for a while. Um, I think she should run very well. Other filly in the race, Simple Simple, is pretty honest. Um, good galloper. Very rarely runs a bad race. Um, yeah. Both quite two, two, two nice fillies. Zenobi, obviously he's very, very well related and his form also speaks volumes for his ability. Yeah, despite his, you know, a sort of um, partial paralysis he has in his throat, uh, you know, he makes quite a bad wind noise. He keeps running well, which has um, not tempted us to, to do an op on him yet. So, and he's drawn well this time for the first time in a good while, which is going to make a big difference to him. His last two runs for me have been outstanding. Uh, he must be a big runner. Zenobi for the Sire Heavenly Blues, first winner, and Zenobi went on to beat in second. Silver Sanctuary, um, Silver yeah, Sanctuary. she's she's quite a nice filly, uh, good winner of her last start, uh, comes out of a reasonable form race too, I think. Then comes Silver Sanctuary, it's still the Cutter Cat with 200 to go, the leader. On the outside, Tamil Tigress, Silver Sanctuary, they all launch together, down the inside is Call Me When You Need Me, Tamil Tigress, Silver Sanctuary flying down the centre and got there. She had a bit of a break after the last start. She's coming off nearly two months off. I think she'll run well. I mean, it's with Colts. One doesn't really know where you stand, sort of the three-year-old form, all that. He's three-year-old. She's sort of one from the top in the weights. But she's a nice filly. Um, I think she's going places. So um, she must be a big runner with, you know, obviously it's hard to gauge against the Colts. But um, uh, certainly I, I can't fault where she's at at the moment. And then to put the lid on the day, Destiny of Souls, uh, he won really well over 10 furlongs. He ran OK over 1,800. I think he was supposed to be running at the Vile and that meeting was abandoned. He's back over 10 furlongs? Yeah, I would say it's, the, the trip's fine for him. Uh, there's two or three in there that I waited to turn the tables on him and that ran ahead of him in his last start uh, in the 1,800. He was a bit cramped late. I don't know if it made that much difference. Um, but, um, you know very competitive handicap coming from the draw he's probably going to have to give away a, a bit of start so one's going to hope that there's a bit of gallop on so that he can he can mow them down but um, for me there's a very competitive race and while we've got you here you've got a, a shirt on that's obviously a betway shirt but it's very similar to the colors of Messrs Rippon and Charter and of course that was the most glorious day you know uh, Allied Steel Road Charity Mile Day when we won the World Cup that time has come again uh, what has Tim de Kock got lined up for Allied Steel Road Charity Mile Day? Yeah, quite a few runners. Um, you know, hopefully we can have one for, for, the, for the sponsors as well. But uh, there's quite a few runners and uh, looking forward to the day. It's always a good day. 
Um, there's never a dull moment with um, Warren around. Uh, it's a golf day the day before, so I'm sure that there's going to be a big carryover into the next day. Um, but yeah, looking forward to some, some nice runners on the day.